Okay, back to our little project. And now we need to do the same thing for adding the highlight. So I just copy and pasted the whole lot. Now the only difference here is we're going to check if the highlight highlight is checked. Now I want to explain just something here. The reason I didn't or is I always want a tone module added if both is checked and I also want a tone module if tone is checked. Now here I want a highlight module if both is checked or if highlight is checked. So now we just need to basically go through and change all these mentions of tone to highlight. So this is going to be a highlight module. And this is going to be our I'm going to stick with the capital here. This will be our highlight highlight mask and we want to add it here to your highlight. And essentially this is the same bunch of code. Hopefully it should work just as easy as that. Here you go, you can see it's just added the highlight. So now if we go to both highlight and tone, we have, you can see here, a tone and a highlight, which is good. You can see they basically appeared on top of each other. So well, let's fix that. And we'll fix that by changing these XYZ values. Now I'm just going to take my values off what I've, you know, I just learned, did these by trial and error, pushing them around until I was happy with where they sat. So I'm going to change this to 240 and this one down here to 200. And now hopefully you'll notice that when you run this, they sit nicely on top of each other. Now our next consideration is we actually want our tone to go into our highlight module. So, to do that, what you want to do is stick down here another if. So I'm going to go check if both are either checked or equals true. Because I'm only going to now need to add the tone to the highlight if. Um, they're both actually there. Otherwise, you know, there's no point in doing this because there's not going to be anything to add. And this is just a simple node dot link, and I'm going to want to. The first thing here is going to be the location. So it'll be that's the location of the tone and zero because we're going to use no zero. And then I want to connect the tone to the highlight. So the location of the highlight, you'll find that most things start on the top of your scene unless you've got like a group or something like that which goes a little bit deeper. And so we should now have in linking. So let's check this. So here we go. 
You can now see the tone is linking into your highlight. And now, again, I don't want you to sit here and have to watch me type, type, type. So I'm going to basically steal some code across from my completed project and add it in here. And then we'll just talk through it. So let's talk about adding to the composite next. So I'm going to grab this code here. I'll throw it in here. And this this should be look fairly similar. I'm just creating two radio buttons similar to what I did before. I'm giving them values similar to what I did before. Creating a group for them. Again, exactly the same as I did before. And now so we'll just check if this runs because again it's a different project. And now you can see there's an option here if you want to connect it to the composite or not. Now for me, I don't normally want to connect it. I'd rather connect it myself manually because I don't necessarily always want it. But some people you may want to always have it connected to the composite. It won't actually show up on screen until you do connect it to the composite. So it is something important to bear in mind. So next the only real piece of code that goes with this is down here. Now I actually know there's a small, small problem with this code so I'm going to fix it up now. So now you'll notice that this will work. For both? Oh no, it didn't. Oh, hang on, I know why it didn't. Because it worked, so it's just I didn't select the right thing. We want to connect. Okay, that's no problem. We'll just go to our code. We don't need this in here for now. That's basically because we don't have I haven't started putting in the prefix function yet. So now that works fine. Now I know the problem with my code, so I'll just sort of say it. Is if we go up here and we just want a tone and we want it connected, there's nothing to connect. Which is no good. So, this will be, and both, um, how are we going to check this? We want to check if there's a highlight module. So we do this if the tone is false. So, and tone RB equals false. And the double equal sign. Now I'm just going to stop here and we'll continue in the next part because of time. So I'll be back in a second.